guys and welcome to Tagtastic Tuesday. I um, For this week's tag I'm going to do the toddler tag. So I'm going to tell you all about my toddler. So the first question asks what is their name and their age and her name is Sadie Grace and she is 21 months old. The second question is what is their favorite food? Now I'm going to tell you which food she likes the best. It's, that does not mean that she gets it all the time um, or that she's like, you know, I don't want any judgment as far as how healthy her favorite foods are. But um, she really, really likes mashed potatoes, corn, and um, pizza is one of her favorites. And then also noodles, any kind of noodles, um, either with pasta sauce or with um, like a butter sauce. And she actually really likes salad. Which I'm surprised because I don't know a lot of like toddlers that like that texture, but she really likes lettuce, so that's cool. <sighs> her favorite snack, her favorite snacks are, um, and I guess yogurt. I don't know if you would count yogurt as a food or as a snack, but she really, really likes yogurt. And so her favorite snacks are um, grapes. She loves grapes um, and any kind of raisins, whether there would be. Um, regular raisins or yogurt covered raisins or chocolate covered raisins or she just loves raisins so raisins um bananas oranges pretzels goldfish any of those things um her favorite drink um usually she drinks milk throughout the day um, for her meals and then in between she can have like one glass of um half juice half water and then i'm trying to um just limit the rest of her drinks to water um, but on special occasions like um, you know just here and there she'll get to try some chocolate milk and she really really likes that so um, if I had to say like if she had a choice again I don't want any judgment about oh that's not a healthy drink if she had a choice of what she could drink all the time I bet you she'd pick chocolate milk um, her favorite TV show she has several favorite TV shows um, they kind of rotate, um, sometimes it's Mickey Mouse, sometimes it's, um, what is it called? Handy Manny is her new one. Sometimes it's Special Agent Oso, and sometimes it's Doc McStuffins, which is the new show on the Disney Channel. She loves all of the Disney, um, a lot of the Disney TV shows. Um, but she also likes, um, anything that has an animal on it. So if it's on Animal Planet and there's animals... She will love to watch that. Um, her favorite book. I brought a couple books, actually. Here's one of her favorite books, The Ants Go Marching. And she likes to point out, here, I'll open it to, like, the middle. I'll ask her, you know, find the ant that's carrying the flower. And she'll look through all the ants and try to find the one with the flower. I'll be like, can you point out an ant that's wearing a shirt? And she'll find an ant that's wearing a shirt. And she loves, she just loves this book. So it's just the song, the ants go marching, and then they have lots of pictures, and she can count the ants if she wants to. And then, and that one is illustrated by Don Crisp, but I think they just use the words, you know, from the song. And then this one she loves too, Where's My Mummy, and that's by Carolyn Creamy. And she really likes, um, she really likes Halloween books. She likes whenever we read to her in like a spooky voice, she really likes that. So those are her two favorite books, other than her um, classic fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy book. She just, I don't think she's ever going to grow out of that book. She loves that book. Favorite toy. Um, right now she really likes her dollies and her um, little bottles that sh she feeds her dollies with. Um, and also um, the little triple stacker um, toy, the where it's like three sticks and then you can stack the shapes on top of them and she likes puzzles she's just getting into puzzles a lot too um what upsets them uh, if you guys have followed my journey at all you guys know that she just had um an external fixator applied on her arm and um with that um application there are pins that are basically um drilled into her arm um, and into her bones well um, in order to straighten her arm and we have to clean those pins um, three times a day and she absolutely 
hates it. I feel like I am torturing her the whole time. She absolutely cannot stand getting her pins cleaned. Um, and really all you have to do is start gathering the supplies to start the process. And she starts saying, no, no, done, done, done. And it just breaks my heart. It absolutely breaks my heart. And um, I'm hoping that in a couple of weeks um, that they'll say, you know, okay, it's time to do the next surgery. And they will take it out and they will centralize her hand and it will, you know, all be recovery from there. But um, it just stinks in the meantime because we do have to make sure that those pins are clean because we don't want them to get infected. But she absolutely hates it and it makes her very upset. What do they call their grandparents? My mom is called Grandma, Grandma, and um, that differs from me because she calls me Mom, Mom, and um, my dad's name is Papa, and Robert's mom's name is, um, I think we call her Grammy or Gram Gram, but um, she doesn't really um, vocalize it yet. She hasn't really said it yet. Um, what is her, her comfort item if she has one? She doesn't necessarily have a comfort item. She doesn't have something that she has to have. Um, but she, like, will throw a fit if something doesn't belong in her bed. And she will toss it out. So the only things that she allows in her bed is um, one big pillow. She has her ladybug pillow pet. And um, she has a um, the stuffed bear that she got from my dad. Um, from Las Vegas whenever he traveled there she allows that in there and um, her blanket which we call her nubby and those are the only things and she's had her nubby um, we started pretty much using that more often than not whenever she switched it or when she started sleeping in her crib like all the time she that was just the blanket that we kept using and that was her, that's her nubby but um but other than that, she doesn't, like, have a weird, like, attachment to it. She doesn't have to have it everywhere she goes or anything like that. She just, there's things that belong in her crib, and she knows that, and there's things that don't belong in her crib, and she will toss them out if you try to put them in there. So, baby dolls, books, toys, anything that you put in there to, like, maybe um, occupy her for a couple minutes, she won't have it. So, favorite activity. She loves to help cook and mix and things like that. Um, and while I'm doing the dishes, she likes to stand on the stool right next to me and she just laughs if she gets splashed and things like that. Um, and then the other thing that she really likes to do is to go to um, an animal shelter or a pet store. She loves visiting animals. So we don't go to the zoo as often as, you know, I mean, we go to the zoo probably twice a year and she loves that. But um, in between trips, we like to go to an animal shelter and visit the dogs and cats, and she just laughs the whole time. She has a great time. Um, or the pet store to visit, like, birds or lizards or fish or turtles. Bedtime, nap time. Her bedtime is generally right around 9.30 or 10, um, and her wake-up time is usually, like, 9.30. And then... Um, and that would change if we had to get up earlier. Obviously, she would go to bed earlier, but we don't have a morning, like any morning um, responsibilities or anything that we have to go be at so um, for right now that's our our sleeping routine and then she goes to bed usually um, and takes a nap around 1 30 in the afternoon for like two hours two or three hours what makes them crazy um, she goes crazy when she sees Justin Bieber or the keyboard cat um, or um, I don't know if you guys have seen on the side of the um, YouTube videos, there's um, a, an advertisement for Warcraft, and there's a little alien guy that goes like this. He's like a little monster, and he like does this little dance, and she'll be watching a video with me or something, and she'll point, <laughs> she'll point it out, and she'll just start cracking up. So um, those are the things, and those are like the things, I guess, that revolve around um, TV or the computer. Um, in general, like, as far as food, I don't think there's one thing that makes her crazy more than anything else, um, or anything like that. Again, she just likes, she likes to visit animals and things like that, and that gets her really excited, but other than that, she's pretty, um, even keeled. <laughs> and what makes them awesome? To me, um, just her, um, I'm gonna sneeze, that's why I'm making this face. Um, 
uh, just everything that she's overcome and and everything that she you know when, since I was pregnant with her and they were told me that she wasn't gonna make it and all those kinds of things just to see what she's overcome that is awesome to me and then um, you know there's just stuff that has gone on that you know if I'm crying or upset she'll come over to me and she'll say oh and she'll wipe tears away and she's just the sweetest little thing and uh, she knows she just knows what can make um, me and my husband happy she's just so sweet and like I'll be taking a nap or something um, since Robert's home all the time I'll go and take a nap if I'm really tired and um, and I'll leave the door open and eventually she'll come in and she'll climb up on the bed and she's just when she goes to wake me up she's just so sweet she just starts like mom mom and it's just so considerate and sweet and I don't know it's just 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 the fact that she came from nothing pretty much just came from Robert and I and is now like a person that is sweet and considerate and funny and just awesome that's what makes her, that's what um, makes her awesome to me so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tag video sorry it went a little long um, but I hope you guys learned a little bit more about um, Sadie and our family and I will see you guys for my next video subscribe bye